Hey everyone. Over the course of the past eight hours, we got about two inches of rain. And it's still continuing to rain. So this is probably the most flow we'll see at the lake drain. And now you might say that we've seen more flow in the past at the old lake drain over there. That's only because it was clogged and it built up. So when I opened it, there was a much larger release. All this water you're seeing is storm runoff from all the parking lots up here. There's a shopping center and it adds a lot of water to the natural stream. This should never build up because this is a very difficult drain to clog but you do see those sticks in there eventually without maintenance i think a clog is going to form against the pipe down there but it'll be difficult it'll have to go years without maintenance for something that bad to actually happen it's a pretty good structure but like i showed before in other videos the pipe under the ground here is failing. All the seals are pushed out and broken. They have ripped it up twice since putting it in because it just keeps failing. They use the wrong kind of pipe. The seals are on the inside. They're supposed to be on the outside when you bury it underwater because you have the pressure of this entire lake pushing the seals out. In this kind of scenario, they should be on the outside but they don't want to dig it up. They're going to have a big issue in the future, but it's not going to be dangerous. The pipe's not very deep. But it's good to see this thing with heavy flow. Also, do you notice the one thing missing? What's missing here? The valve going down, the knob going down to the butterfly valve. I told the DOT, they better remove that thing and just keep it somewhere else. It didn't have a lock and it also wasn't capable of putting a padlock on it. So anybody could mess around and open that thing up, draining this thing. And also, like I showed, the pipe underground is weak. It's already eroding soil. If somebody was to open that up, that big discharge blasting through there, even though the thing is brand new and it's meant to do that and it should be able to do that it would cause severe damage if that thing was left open for any amount of time and usually the DOT on a project like this did not do it themselves I dri driven by a bunch of times while it was being put in it was done by a subcontractor it's probably still under warranty they should fix it but for some reason they're not pushing it this project cost 2.2 million initially, and they had to make repairs. So that's probably near two and a half million dollars for something that's broken and failing. They need to push this and get it fixed properly. All right, so this might be the most flow we'll have, unless you were here in the summer during a thunderstorm. We did have some heavier periods earlier today, and there's still a lot of runoff. The, the retention pond up here is actually broken at the shopping center but it looks like the EPA is in no hurry to fix that the EPA should make that shopping chain fix that retention pond because by law it's supposed to be working it's completely broken everything just gets blasted out it doesn't hold back anything let's go to the other side and see what's happening I don't get why didn't they pave up to the curb it's just causing erosion here. Let's go down and see the end. They still have the silt filters put in to stop the dirt from washing into the waterway. This end, it's not very violent. You saw all the water pouring in, but not much here. 
and you see there's no erosion on the sides of the bank that tells you it doesn't get any higher than what you're seeing not really they recently put all that hay that wasn't here a few months ago the reason they tore down the soil there on this hill they had to cut down the forest because they flattened this out so they could drive in there and access the end of the culvert and they also replaced these drain lines going up to the drains on the ramp then they put the hill back and got rid of the flat area all right if I'm ever in the area during a higher flow than this, I'll definitely check in on it. Here's our old friend, the old lake drain. All sealed in with flowable concrete. They never removed the jersey barrier like it said in the job description. You see how that jersey barrier is kind of pushed? It's definitely pushed more than when I used to unclog this thing. When I used to unclog this drain, I was always afraid of that Jersey barrier falling in. You know what I mean? Falling. But now it's definitely overhanging more. It's heavy, heavy. You're not going to just push it because you see underneath more than half of it's being supported. But still, it looks like it's slowly slipping. They should have removed it. It's, it's something ugly, industrial looking. It said in the job description they were going to remove it. I don't know why. They removed all the temporary jersey barriers they had around the other drain during the construction that were up all summer last year. I don't know why they even put silt filters here. They never disturbed the soil above it. What's the point? There's my pile of all the debris I pulled off this thing over the past couple years. We unclogged this thing for like three years. I only got to film it for about one year before it failed. So all the earlier times we never recorded. You can see they put a bunch of hay up on, by the highway too because they repaved the entire highway when they replaced the drain lines. Yeah, people were wondering, how did that one drain cost... 2.2 million well they had to seal this old one they had to get tons and tons of money and environmental permits to do it they had to build the new one special order the new structure they repaved the whole top of the ramp along with the project they put new drains in the ramp new drain lines that i pointed out on the other side but they didn't go far enough there's a rotted drain line down here they didn't bother touching Believe it or not, the end of the culvert for the drain line, it's actually in the water. I don't know if you can see it here, but it broke off and it's actually under the water somewhere. You know what? Let's go see it. I have nothing better to do. I haven't hiked this trail in years. It's really slippery. This is used by fishermen. Okay, here it is. See this culvert here? This goes up to the highway where there's a drain. They only touch the ones that were in public view uh what i mean by that is they had public exposure by the news and my videos these ones i never showed before so that's probably why they didn't include them in the project like the other rotted ones now this believe it or not it's not causing anyone harm this one is not rotted through nearly as bad as the others the ones on the other side were rotted all the way through this one's not it still has some life by EPA standards, it shouldn't be left like that. But honestly, it's not going to cause a problem. Look, the ground is held together. Uh, I just noticed a big red flag. It's raining. Why is that not working? It's jammed somewhere internally. But no big deal. It'll just go down to the next one that they just replaced. Still, it, that's not acceptable. It's probably easy to fix it unless it's collapsed somewhere which it very well could be all the other ones that were the same age have collapsed it seems like it's in good condition it's probably just needs a jet truck in the pit but anyways this 
in EPA standards should be going all the way down for erosion control. But there's no erosion. It's fine. There's a bunch of rocks and stuff. But anyways, the end of this, probably with human interference, kids at the pond probably broke it off and threw it in there. I don't see the water pressure doing this. But there it is down in the water. That's been in the water for years. I remember disturbing it a few years ago when I was walking over to see the beaver lodge. I kicked it and some fish swam out of it. So now it's a fish home. It's metal. I don't mind seeing metal and contaminants like that in the water. I don't, because eventually it'll, it's carbon. It'll just rot back into the environment. There's the out structure. That's the reason I have problems with plastic. I don't like plastic culverts. People seem to like them because they last so much longer. Yeah, and they also last forever in the environment. They'll never go away like these. Okay, the beaver lodge is right there. Let's go check them guys out. Got nothing better to do. It looks like over the abandoned ice house building. If you want to see that, I'll link a video in the description of us exploring it back in 2016 before the no trespassing signs went up. It wasn't even boarded up back then. See that? It looks like there's a homeless camp now on the property of the ice house. The ice house actually owns this pond. I'm on their property now. The DOT only owns 20 feet into the water. The DOT could not legally remove the beavers. They, they couldn't get rid of the pond. But it's habitat. I don't even think they'd be allowed to if they wanted to. That building is currently for sale. Nobody knows it because the big for sale sign wasn't put in the ground correctly and the wind blew it over. Probably a commercial property, but you could probably get the zoning changed pretty easily since it's surrounded by houses that are on the pond. Because this is a former ice cutting pond. That's why it was originally dammed and built for cutting ice in the winter back before refrigeration. They would stack it inside the insulated building and they'd sell it to people for their ice boxes in the summertime. Back before refrigeration, you had an ice box. You put your food on the bottom and cold air settles from the block of ice down on the bottom where the food is. The ice block is up on top, okay? Here we are at the Beaver Lodge. Beavers naturally want to create a dam. They don't like the sound of running water. That's why they used to clog up the old lake drain. The new one isn't built in a way where amazingly they're not messing with it. Occasionally you'll see beavers here. This lodge doesn't look like it's being maintained very well, but I know the beavers are still here because I see new cuttings of trees over by the drain. This doesn't look maintained at all since the last time I've been out here, but they are likely still using it. They might even have another lodge way over there. If you look at old satellite images, this pond used to be so much bigger, but like any man-made body of water, the stream is going to bring silt in, making a bigger and bigger sandbar. hundred years, it'll be completely gone. It has to be occasionally drained and dug out with excavators. Nearby, probably 20 miles away, Springfield's Forest Park. They have to drain it every 25 years and dig out their massive man-made lake. Or it would completely go away. I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. There's proof for you. Beavers are still active. That recently chewed branch on the end that tree fell about two months ago and the bark being chewed off that's what they eat in the winter time bark couldn't have been shaved off that more than a week or two ago